friends, I found another story about something we see in the sky. We see the moon. This story is called Happy Birthday Moon, written by Frank Ash. We know this bear because we read another story called Mooncake by Frank Ash with the same bear and the same moon. Happy Birthday Moon. Let's get started. One night, one night, Bear looked up to the sky and thought, wouldn't it be nice to give the moon a birthday present? But Bear didn't know when the moon's birthday was or what to get him. So he climbed a tall tree to have a little chat with the moon. Hello, moon, he shouted, but the moon did not reply. Maybe I am too far away, thought Bear, and the moon cannot hear me. A chat is a friendly conversation that we have with someone, just a short little happy conversation. So he paddled across the river and he hiked through the forest. Look at those trees. They give us a clue as to what season it is. Is it winter, spring, summer, fall? Look at the trees. Into the mountains. Why do you think Bear went way up high in the mountains? Let's turn the page and find out. Now I am much closer to the moon, thought Bear. And again he shouted, hello. This time his own voice echoed off into the other mountains. Hello, hello, hello. Bear got very excited. Oh boy, he thought, I'm talking to the moon. Tell me, asked Bear, when is your birthday? Tell me, when is your birthday? replied the moon. Look at this picture. It seems like the moon was repeating what Bear was saying. When you repeat something, you say it or write it again. Let's repeat what Bear said, okay? Hello, when is your birthday? You say it with me. Hello, when is your birthday? We repeated that. Nice job, friends. Well, it just so happens that my birthday is tomorrow, said Bear. Well, it just so happens that my birthday is tomorrow, said the moon. What do you want for your birthday? asked Bear. What do you want for your birthday? asked the moon. Bear thought for a moment, then he replied, I would like a hat. I would like a hat, said the moon. Oh, goody, thought Bear. Now I know what to get the moon for his birthday. Why did Bear think that the moon wanted a hat? Goodbye, said Bear. Goodbye, said the moon. When Bear got home, he dumped all the money out of his piggy bank. Let's make a prediction. That means let's make a guess. Let's make a prediction. What do you think Bear will do with the money from his piggy bank? Put your thinking fingers up. Hmm, I wonder what he'll do with that money. Then he went downtown and bought the moon a beautiful hat. Look at this name right here. These are words that the author, Frank Ash, put into the illustration. It says, Fats Hats. That tells us the name of the store. That's why Bear went to that store to buy hats. Fats Hats. The illustration gives us a clue because it has words in the illustration. That was great of Frank Ash to do that for us. That night, he put the hat up in a tree where the moon could find it. Then he waited and watched until the moon slowly kept, crept through the branches and tried on the hat. Hooray, yelled Bear. It fits just right. Bear is happy because the hat seems to fit the moon. Clothes and shoes that fit are ones that are just the right size. Not too big and not too small, just the right size. Let's pretend we're bare and say, it fits just 
right. Look at that moon with the hat. During the night while Bear slept, the hat fell out of the tree. In the morning, Bear found the hat on his doorstep. So the moon got me a hat too, exclaimed Bear. He tried it on and it fit perfectly. But just then the wind blew Bear's hat off his head. He chased after it, but it got away. That night, Bear paddled across the river and hiked through the forest to talk to the moon. For a long time, the moon would not speak to him, so Bear spoke first. Hello, he shouted. Hello, hello, said the moon. I lost the beautiful hat you gave me, said Bear. I lost the beautiful hat you gave me, said the moon. That's okay. I still love you, said Bear. That's okay. I still love you, said the moon. Happy birthday, said Bear. Happy birthday, said the moon. Do you think you have to have a lot of presents to have a happy birthday? Thumbs up if you think you need a lot of presents to have a happy birthday. I liked this story. We heard something in the story called an echo. Remember when the bear said something in the mountains? Hello, and it echoed back. Hello, hello, that's called an echo. I hope you liked this Frank Ash book, Happy Birthday Moon. We'll need to read another book soon, friends. Thanks for listening.